Hi, my name is Shirel. I'm from Israel. I'm half Russian, half Brazilian. As a child, I grew up on Russian, Portuguese, English and Hebrew. Although it did not come easily. Um, in some languages, I did struggle for a little bit. And so I had uh, to learn them by myself. And not only that, when I discovered the wonders of Chinese, Japanese and Korean, I decided that I'm going to learn those too. And those three languages I started learning by myself without anyone's help, just me and the computer. So I'm currently learning, learning Mandarin Chinese and recently um, I had this kind of period of time when I was, wasn't motivated at all, nothing, zero. I couldn't concentrate on uh, studying and I lost all will to learn the language. The reason it happened was because I was paying too much attention to learning Mandarin Chinese. Too much attention. I've been studying literally every day for 10 hours to the point I fed up with that. That was one of the reasons why I couldn't learn anymore. And how did I overcome this? Easily. I just decided to take things more easily. It is true that we need to commit, but we also need to take things easy and relax. It's not the end of the world. And so if you feel like me, unmotivated, or you don't have any will to learn anymore, that's okay. Take a very, very short break every once in a while, like an hour, two hours, maybe. Do something else, just learn something new, learn another language like briefly or learn a new skill, then you won't feel fed up with learning a language. You'll be like, oh, okay, that's refreshing. I've done my break and I can go back to study now. That really helps a lot. So you might be asking how I keep myself motivated. One, I set my goal very clear to be as fluent as possible in the language I'm learning. And second, actually I'm quite a competitive person. If I see someone who is better than me in, in a certain language, I would think to myself that I want to be better than that person. There's no way I will let anyone beat me in language because I want to be the top. So here's a tip for you. Bring your competitive spirit into learning a language. One of the things I find funny while learning a language is actually making the mistake. When you make a mistake, the other person thinks that's funny and you might think it's funny as well. So basically what I'm telling you to do is make mistakes. Because when people make mistakes, they're usually, oh no, what should I do? Oh my goodness, that is so embarrassing. No, that's totally fine. Because when you make the mistakes, you feel kind of, yeah, you do feel kind of embarrassed and you do think it's funny, but you will make sure to not repeat that mistake again. So do make mistakes. That's totally fine. That's one of the best ways to learn. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm learning Mandarin Chinese. In Mandarin Chinese, the tones are so important, really important. If you're not careful, you might say something weird. And here's a funny story about that. So I was talking with a person in Mandarin Chinese. I, would t I was telling that person that I can sing in 13 languages. I was saying that in Mandarin Chinese. The other person, for some reason, really, I don't know for what reason, but that other person understood me saying that I've been cheating on my boyfriend with 13 different men. How did it come to that? I have no idea. Conclusion? Pay attention when you speak in Chinese Mandarin. Close attention to the tones so you won't make uh, silly mistakes. So here are more few tips for you. The first one, every person is different. Remember that what works for me not, may or may not work for you, but you should try it anyway. First thing, uh, figure out what is your strongest sense, be it um, visuals, seeing things or hearing. Because if you see things better, if um, your vision is better, then write the word multiple times while you see the... Because you see and you use your hands muscles memory to memorize that word. It works a lot. Visualize the word itself as you write it. If your hearing is better, then when you write out the words, read them out loud so you can hear the word you're writing. And it will certainly help a lot in remembering those. You need to make sure you have fun while learning the language. Do any kind of activities using that language too. 
uh, make you enjoy it and want to improve it and learn more. When you learn a language, make sure you enjoy it. It should be fun, not frustrating. Do all kind of activities using the language you're learning. Here's an example. For me, I love music. I love it so much, I'm learning music in different languages. My tablet is filled with lyrics in so many different languages and so many different songs. And I just enjoy singing those. And actually, you can also talk about it with another person who speaks the native language of that song. First, that person will be so impressed that you actually know that song. Second, he would be more than willing to help you to learn uh, how to pronounce the words correctly. Learning a language can be hard. I'm not denying it. It can be hard, but if you stay committed to it, there are so many benefits. For example, you go out to a different country that you know the language of, and you want to communicate with the people, asking where you should go or where that place is. Um, you can read the menu without any struggles. And moreover, when you speak to a person with his own language, that person would feel so happy about it. He would be like, what? You can speak my own language? That is so impressive. And then from there you will have a, a conversation and maybe a lifelong friend, you don't know that. Other benefits is you get to discover new worlds and your way of thinking changes so much. You start to un understand people better and you just won't think the same as you did before learning those languages. You, uh, when learning a new language, it's not only the language, it's also the culture, the food, everything about it. And it's just a fun way to discover life. Conclusion, don't rely on motivation only, but also commit yourself to the language. Remember that there are struggles while learning the language, but it's all worth it in the end. Moreover, if there is one way that won't work for you, that's totally fine. Just find another way. Eventually, you will find the best way for you to learn that language. Thank you so much for watching Glossika channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. And as we say in Hebrew, Tadashi tsufitim be glossika nitrebe pamaba.